Latest in a Target 12 investigators exclusive yesterday on Eyewitness News Live at 5, we showed you this photo right here of two children jammed into the front seat of a car during a ride scheduled through Rhode Island's non-emergency medical transport provider, MTM, which won a massive contract from the state back in 2018. Now in the wake of our report, a group that represents home health care companies is calling on MTM to be more selective about who they hire to drive around the elderly and people with special needs. Target 12 investigator Susan Campbell joins us now live in studio with the new details. Susan. Mike and Shannon, the head of the Rhode Island Partnership for Home Care, tells me the photo from our report proves changes need to be made about who is allowed to drive for MTM. A woman sitting in the front seat of a car, a boy on her lap, another boy crouched on the floor. This happened during a ride scheduled by MTM, the state's non-emergency medical transportation provider. It shows that there are still problems with the list of contracted providers that MTM is using. MTM relies on a network of dozens of independent contractors to complete thousands of trips each day. Nicholas Oliver, the head of the Rhode Island Partnership for Home Care, says those transportation companies are often one or two car operations, while some health care businesses with bigger fleets can't get contracts with MTM. We have long-term service and support providers that have vehicles that can meet the needs of this population. The state and MTM need to move toward a group of transportation providers that are not single vehicle Uber and Lyft providers that have the app open the same time that they're running MTM. After our story about this photo aired, we also spoke with Representative Patricia Serpa. I hope that was a one-off, but are there other problems? Absolutely. Serpa is the chair of the House Oversight Committee, which has been investigating MTM since its troubled rollout in January. She says she's still receiving calls for help from constituents who are MTM users. We shouldn't have to intervene like that. MTM responded to the Home Health Care Partnership's call for different drivers, saying, quote, our priority is providing high quality service to our members. In Rhode Island, MTM works with nearly 90 transportation providers to fulfill our transportation contract with EOHHS. We're proud to support Rhode Island's small and minority owned businesses and have not found that the quality of the service they provide is in any way related to the size of their fleet. With the Target 12 investigator, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.